Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, I am going to talk about the infratemporal fossa and its contents. Infratemporal fossa, nothing but it is a space, it lies just below the middle cranial fossa between the ramus of mandible and side of the pharynx. Now, let's see the contents of infratemporal fossa. We having muscles, we having medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid and tendon of temporalis muscle and nerves, we having mandibular nerve, corda tympani nerve. One important peripheral parasympathetic ganglion is present that is called as otic ganglion and what about vessels, we having maxillary artery and pterygoid venous plexus. So, these are the contents of infratemporal fossa. Now, let's see the bony boundaries of infratemporal fossa and its communication. Now, we'll see the bony boundaries of infratemporal fossa. So, if you see anteriorly, this is the posterior surface of maxilla. Behind or posteriorly, we can see this is a stylar process of temporal bone. Above, we can see this is the infratemporal surface of greater wing of sphenoid bone and it is pierced by foramen movile and foramen spinosum. Below, it is considered as the open, it will be continuous along the tissue space along the side of the pharynx. Laterally, we are having ramus of mandible and medially, we are having lateral pterygoid plate. So, again, I will repeat the bony boundaries. In front, we are having the posterior surface of maxilla. Behind, we are having stylar process of temporal bone. Above, infratemporal surface of greater wing of sphenoid bone and it's pierced by foramen vovil and foramen spinosum. Below it's open, it is continuous along the tissue space along the side of the pharynx. Laterally, we are having ramus of mandible. Medially, we are having lateral pterygoid plate. Now, let's see the communication of infratemporal fossa. So, this infratemporal fossa, it's communicated with the orbit through one important fissure. This fissure is what I'm showing. This is the inferior orbital fissure. And also, this infratemporal fossa, it's communicated with the middle cranial fossa. So, this is the middle cranial fossa through one important foramen that is a foramen vovil and foramen spinosum. And also, it's communicated with the temporal fossa through the gap between the zygomatic arch and side of the bone. And medially, it is communicated with the pterygopalatine fossa through one important fissure. This fissure is called as pterygomaxillary fissures. So, these are the communication of infratemporal fossa.